All right, we're ready to start day two. What's up, Jeff? Jeff had a decent co bag, almost 10 pounds. I had 12 and a half. We're both right in the thick of things and right around 20th, probably. And uh, looking to make a move today. So we've got a little overcast, a little breeze. Should be, I don't know, a good bite. I'm looking forward to catching them today. So, third flight. Second flight's taking off right now. Ready? Nice. Oh, that is exactly the kind we need to start the day. We still need to horse it. So you ready? He's gonna come up right here. Just yeah, just set it in the water. Boom! That's how we start the day. Right here, bud. Oh, yes! <laughs> this is where I caught two of my good ones yesterday. That's three and a half, probably. Oh. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. What? So I knew that was about to happen. Yeah. The one, I got it. It's a rock bass, I think. <laughs> Choked my chatterbait, though. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's move her and go up on the flat. I'm gonna pop us up over there. That looked like a bass, wasn't yep. it? Yep. Stay down. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's right. That's a good one. More important getting fish in. Solid fish. Just made a little bit wider swing in a place I hadn't really, really been in yet. Number two. I was gonna say, if I catch them like this, I only need five bites or yep. three more bites. Exactly. All right, spot one. It's a little over two hours in. I got one good fish, one nice fish, and Jeff. Jeff got one good one, so we're on to fish and hopefully fill our limits. So, cross your fingers. Oh, shit. Damn it, just had one come out and swim at it. Try to grab it and missed it. <laughs> I'm gonna get out that post. I had him. Did he come off? God damn it, I lost him. Ah! Yeah, like, I mean, he's like probably pound three quarter. Ooh. 
Oof. Maybe. <laughs> that is not ideal if you have to get the bump board out. Oh. It's a giant. It's 12 and a half. Number three is the small one. Oh, oh. Huh? I thought I did too. There we go. At least get some of those in the boat. That's not too much to ask for. Like at least decent keeper. <laughs> Number four. Park it like just. I got him, I guess. Geez, a fat little bugger. <laughs> yeah, he bit my jig, and then he bit this. Oh, I got lucky. Yeah. <sighs> That's number five, I think. I think he'll make it. Tubby. Twelve and a quarter. Needs to do better than that. But we're building momentum. Four does. So some of the fish are definitely being finicky because that one I had to just marinate in there. Because I, I had something, I was like, oh, something definitely bumped my jig. Threw back in there with the jig, nothing. Threw back in there with the Senko, felt a little tap, pulled it, nothing. And then I threw back in there again, he finally like picked it up, picked it up. Better one. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. <clears throat> that moves the needle. <laughs> like, if I can get three of these in here. No, it was under that jet ski. Nice. That's a solid two something. <laughs> mm. Bye bye, little fatty. Someday, you will probably be a five pounder with a belly like that. Oh, he made a big splash, but he wasn't very big. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a good one. Like, and then when I popped him up but I was like no he wasn't he probably wasn't even a keeper if he was he was a barely 12er I almost have to start cranking this little whopper plopper before it hits the water the spoiler carbon is not working too well with it uh, <laughs> I don't have it at all it's like because of submarine and that's the spy bait what's that and that's the spy bait That's why I fished that crappy dock. Because I, I was like, eh, I don't know what that laydown looks like, but I'm going to find out. I know, I was looking at it. I was just going to say, you better. When I said you're going to leave it, I was going to say, you better go fish.
You laugh a little bit. Oh, yeah, well, I don't remember what number that one is. Let's see, number three. Does that sound right? So now I think I need to get rid of number four. He's not terrible, but the rest of them are pretty decent. So. We got three, three hours in. Oh, it's second D bomb fish today. So I caught two nice ones, three, uh, two, three of my fish and two of my nice ones yesterday. On. Yeah, decent. I mean, it should help. Ready? He's coming. Yeah. He's yeah, close. Yeah, that one's pretty small. I think. I think he helps a little bit. I think he helps a little bit. I'd still like to get rid of this one, but pretty sure it's number four. Oh yeah. Yep. Decent little call. A little bit. Still down. It's amazing how some of these tournaments are down to three ounces. That's probably a quarter pound. <sighs> I felt my line get tight around that thing and I was over that loop and I was like, what do I do? Yeah, I thought I did get bumped in there. Four, still heavier. All right. Not a call. Head for higher ground. Right. That was it. Time to go in and see how we did. That's the rat. <laughs> the little guy. Otherwise, a bunch of. I weigh one, just for fun. Yeah. Okay, right. thank you. Thanks, guys. Theater at 545 for the award ceremony. Why do you think I need to go there? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. That one is three and three quarter. All right, time to let him go. If I make it, it'll be because of that beautiful girl. Solid, solid white fish, chain fish. 
one more like every one of those instead of that first little one back to them all right recap tournament's over 12 and a half first day 13 feet the second day anchored by that three and three quarter um, i don't know if it's gonna be enough it's gonna be super close probably we'll hear from me again and i'll give you the final results of where i finished i hope i made it finished in the top 10 but only time will tell uh and we'll do a, a lure recap here in a second too. So stay tuned, a little more coming. Whitefish chain, Minnesota Bass Nation TO3 recap. Uh, in the end, uh, super decent bag on day two. Made a pretty solid comeback, finished one spot short. I finished 11th by 0.16 pounds or about two ounces. Top 10 qualified for next year's regionals, Bass Nation Northern regionals. So unless somebody drops out, I'm the alternate, uh, won't be going. So cross your fingers that somebody has some prior obligations uh, and doesn't make the trip and I get a chance to go because I love fishing these things. I love uh, having that qualification path going. But still a pretty good tournament, 11th out of 90-some uh, anglers, uh, boater, or 100, 102 boaters. And uh, I just want to share my three-pronged approach. I started deep each day, flipping a D-bomb on a three-quarter ounce weight with a 4 aught EWG ring hook, uh, Bass Tech Tungsten. I will put links in description to all my rods and reels and all the baits and all the gear hooks lined down below. So if you want any of those details, they'll be down below in the videos. Um, and uh, that was a key setup. The majority of my fish came on this deep. I got one key fish a day two on a tree on this. Uh, green pumpkin flash, green pumpkin blue, the regular size D-bomb. Got a ton of bites, got me some, most of my bigger bites came on this, honestly. So this, this was the main player for me on whitefish. I would start deep and spend a couple hours, catch a couple quality fish, um, we, when we had winds and cloud, I would roll up on the flat in a few key areas and I would throw this, this uh, vibrating jig chatterbait, uh, just kind of a custom little bluegill skirt color and a half ounce. And then I would put an Arsenal tactical minnow uh, on the back and it's a really good uh, bladed jig trailer, especially when they're targeting bluegills. Uh, and then every day I had to squeak out a couple fish on docks and that was on a three eighths ounce oaky craw bass deck tungsten jig with a little baby d bomb in the trailer and i used baby d bomb and a speed craw and maybe a menace scrub and kind of rotate those around what was what was handy those were the baits that did it um it was not a super easy tournament i wasn't getting a ton of bites uh as most of the angl other anglers were not either uh i just needed one more like two and a quarter two and a half pound fish to, to to get into where i needed to be so as you can see in the video there was a few dock fish that got away and uh, and I had a few other deep bites, but those could have been northern. So all in all, I'm fairly pleased with the tournament, but I'm a little disappointed that I didn't make that top 10. But uh, still a good tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Um, appreciate you watching to the end. It's awesome. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you like about these videos, uh, what you thought of them. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. That's how you're going to not miss any of these future videos. I'm doing a lot of tournament videos later this summer. Uh, there's going to be some great footage coming from Vermilion and North Divisional very, very soon, and you will not want to miss those tournaments. So, as always, here to help you catch more bass and suck less.